In this video, I'll be reviewing the Oracle MetaHome Pro, which has the product model number CS200 Pro and is a NAS with an emphasis on being a home media data center. Note also that this unit was provided to me by Oracle for this review, but the information I provide here are based on my unbiased opinions. The unit comes securely packed in a sturdy cardboard box and along with the MetaHome Pro NAS itself, you'll receive a power adapter, two Ethernet cables, a screwdriver and screws for your hard drives, and a user's manual. On the front of the unit, there are two hard drive indicator lights, along with a network indicator light and a power button. On the back, there is a 4K HDMI port, a DC 12 volt port where the power adapter plugs in, two 2.5 gigabit LAN ports, two USB A 3.0 ports, a single USB C port, and a recessed reset button. As for hardware, the MetaHome Pro comes with an Intel Celeron N5105 quad core CPU. 8 gigabytes of DDR4 memory, which is expandable up to 32 gigabytes, and 32 gigabytes of eMMC flash memory. It supports either two 2.5 or 3.5 inch SATA hard drives or SSDs, as well as two M.2 NVMe SSDs. In my setup, I've installed two three and a half inch SATA hard drives into the hard drive trays that are accessible from the front of the unit. One thing I want to note is that the unit itself and particularly the hard drive trays didn't feel as high quality as a Synology NAS build, but overall they worked fine. The trays also aren't lockable like some of the Synology desktop units. I also thought the magnetically attached front panel was a bit odd, but it worked in covering the hard drive trays and stayed in place just fine. Once the hard drives are installed in the MetaHome Pro, you'll need to connect it to your network, provide it power, and download the CyberData app from the link shown here on screen and linked in the description below, or from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. One thing I did find with the macOS application is that although the App Store correctly listed the app as CyberData, the application name appeared in Chinese after the installation. So you'll need to either open your application folder, use Launchpad, or create a shortcut to start the application. After the CyberData application starts up, it should automatically find the MetaHome Pro NAS on your network. If it doesn't, click New to scan for it. Once the new device has been detected, you can click on it to bind to the device and start the setup process. Next, click on Administrator Initialization to register an administrator account. You'll then need to provide an email or phone number and verify the option you selected to enable password recovery. Then you can complete the registration process. Now back at the login screen, log in as the administrator you just created. Once logged in, you'll need to create a storage pool by clicking on Create Now on the screen. This will bring up the Create System Pool window where the recommended disk array is automatically selected. In my case, the two drives are configured in a mirrored RAID 1 setup which is also my preferred option. You can then scroll to the bottom of the window and click on the Next Step button, then click Confirm. This will bring up this pop-up window where you'll need to enter your password and click OK to complete the storage pool setup, which takes a few minutes to complete. Once done, click OK on this window, which will then log you into the CyberData OS desktop where you can start using the MetaHome Pro NAS. My initial impression of the CyberData OS was that it wasn't as intuitive as Synology's DSM. 
However, after working through the quick start guide, which I'll link to in the description below, I got more familiar with how the OS works. I think it's definitely usable, but has a few quirks that need to be worked out. One of those quirks is how accounts are administered. Basically, each user manages their own account. For example, to create a new account, I'd assume the administrator would go to settings and select account, but that just brings you to your own account settings. To create a new account, you need to register your own account. For example, I'll log out of the administrator account and select register. Here, I'll create an account for myself, skipping the secure email and phone number options. Then I'll log into the account after completing the setup. If I go to settings then account, you can see that I'm also in charge of destroying or deleting my account if I no longer need it. If I log back in as the administrator, I can see the account that was just created, but I can't manage the account at all, other than transferring admin rights to it. Overall, I do like that there's a dedicated CyberData OS app available for Android, Windows, iOS, and macOS. I've used both the iOS and macOS versions, and I think they both work exceptionally well. I also like many of the features already available. I'll point out a few, starting with the integrated movie application. Depending on how you'd like to share the movie, you can switch from your personal space to the public space and upload a movie into the public movies folder so that all users have access to it. Then when you launch the movie application, you'll see that the movie was automatically indexed with a generated poster and additional details about the movie when you click on it. If you have the MetaHome Pro connected to an external monitor or TV via HDMI, you can also click on the HDMI button to seamlessly play the movie on the connected display. This really makes the MetaHome Pro a fantastic home media server. Another feature I really like is the use of ZFS for the file system. ZFS isn't mentioned specifically in the documentation, but it's what enables the snapshot functionality. You can manage snapshots by going to Settings, Storage Pool, and clicking on System Pool. Snapshots allow you to roll back to previous versions of files, which is helpful if you made changes you want to undo. They also protect your data from viruses or ransomware by letting you roll back to a version that wasn't affected. The nice thing is that snapshots are automatically set up in CyberData OS with 24 hourly snapshots for the current day and daily snapshots going back seven days. The last feature I'll highlight is the inclusion of Docker. If you've been following my channel, you know that I run Docker for many of the services I use, and having it included in CyberData OS is great. There are even some featured apps like Jellyfin that can be installed and run with just two clicks. Overall, I think the Oracle MetaHome Pro has some nice features already in place. If you're planning to use it as a home media server, I think it's a solid choice. I also really like that it automatically starts creating snapshots, which helps protect your data from accidental deletions and malicious software. It does have some quirks like the account creation process that are a bit unusual, but once you understand how it works, it's manageable. Oracle does seem to add features to the OS, and in my short time using the MetaHome Pro, I've seen two OS updates come through, so they are actively trying to improve their offering. 
There is also a built-in feedback portal in the CyberData OS interface where you can submit suggestions directly to their team, which will help them refine the OS further. In my opinion, if you like tinkering with computers and aren't a complete beginner, I think you'll enjoy learning and experimenting with the Oracle MetaHome Pro. However, I do think the CyberData OS needs some refinement as it's not yet at the level of Synology's DSM. So I wouldn't recommend this unit to absolute beginners. If you have some thoughts about the Oracle MetaHome Pro, let me know by leaving a comment below. Also, if you like this hardware review, consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Thanks so much for watching.